is his greatest ever night. And he is the Kazoo British Open champion for 2022. It's Ryan Dynamite D. Ryan, thank you so much for welcoming welcoming me into you, your father's home. Uh, first of all, how are you and how has your summer been? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really good. Um, it's been a long, long break um, away from from this house anyway, because this is where, um, like you said, it's my dad's house where I do my practice. Um, but I haven't had the uh, urge to come up here a lot of, over the last so like three months since... Um, the Crucible finish, we've had a couple of um, tournaments, um, but uh, yeah, I've just not been at it yet. Um, but yeah, it's uh, time to get the queue back out. Now August is coming to an end and September's sh around the corner. Um, yeah, I think uh, it's time to do some work. You said you haven't had the urge to practice, so how have you been filling your time with it? Have you been a little way anywhere, Knox? Um, yeah, we've had a... We've been luckily to uh, luck luckily we've got away a couple of times through the summer. We went to um, we went to Tenerife in June, and then um, I've just got back from Menorca last week. Weather was really good last week; it was better than it was in Tenerife. So, um, but uh, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm one of those that always struggles having had a long break to to actually get back into it. Um, always felt like the super season should start in September. Um, so yes, something that I've always done. I'm sure it won't take me that long to get back into it. Absolutely. So last year, uh, of course, that your victory, a fantastic, you know, memorable, memorable part of your, of your career so far. Um, just talk us back through the memories you have of that victory and especially the final. Um, yeah, I, I, it, it seems like yes, and also seems a long time up away as well um which is a bit strange but um yeah i remember um i played gerard green in my first game um the tournament started on the monday i didn't play my first match until the wednesday um i could have easily have gone two nil down the first of four and i've been right up against it but i managed to win that game played jimmy robertson in the next match and played a lot a lot better game um and i kind of Played one good game, one bad game, one good game, one bad game, pretty much all the way through the week. Um, had a sort of like semi final that was not very memorable, but um, yeah, come into the final then. I was playing against Mark Allen, who at the time was probably playing the best out of everybody, and um, not a great deal of pressure on my shoulders because everyone thought I was probably going to lose, but uh, yeah, I come out and stuck with him early part of the match and. Um, Felt like I was getting stronger as the, as the day went on and uh, managed to cross the line in the end. Absolutely. I mean, you must look back on and videos. I mean, we'll, we'll have a look back later on and, and have a look at some of them. But with with immense pride, um, do you, what sort of emotions were going through your head when you felt like you obviously had your family there as well? Well, going into the going into the final on the Sunday morning, I was thinking that uh, my family, uh, my daughter had just... Um, that entry she sees last last summer. Um, she just got herself a part time job. She asked for it off on the Sunday morning. They wouldn't give it to her, so she couldn't leave until um, I think it was half twelve. Um, which meant that potentially, if I had played like I had the night before, I could have been six two seven one behind, and the match would have been over pretty much. Um, so that was the first goal. Um, getting out of that uh, first so like session with uh, the game still live and it all to play for in the evening, so they could actually um, get get the teeth into the match um, in the evening. And uh, yeah, sure enough, it was four four. I, I met them briefly um, in the interval, uh, sort out the hotel room and that for them, and then uh, kind of took myself away, got myself ready for the evening, and then uh, that Sunday night was. Um, with them there and uh, to witness it live and have them come out after the after the final um, with the presentation and everything was very special.
Kazoo, British Open champion for 2022. So moving on to this season, Ryan, um, obviously you said you've had a, an extended break. Um, what's the plan of action now and what are your main goals for this campaign? Um, <laughs> I don't really know, to be honest. Uh, um, I, I literally haven't given her a, a thought. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to sit down because, like I said, I'm going to get practicing properly now from uh, this week onwards and try to get my game in good shape for trying to defend the British Open title. Um, so, yeah, look, to, to break down what I wanted to do last year, um, it was... Uh, to get to the Masters, I tick that box. Um, the, the the Crucible tick that box. Um, always the start of any season, you're looking to to lift some silverware. Um, tick that box. So, in terms of goal set in last season, it was quite quite a successful year. Um, haven't got a great deal of points to protect coming off from two years ago. The way the rankings work, so um, yeah, lot lots of the same kind of targets really try to get um myself back up the, the rankings so i was disappointed to miss out on the shanghai masters it was a bit of a mistake on my behalf i thought i was i was in it but um they did a reseeding of the um of the after the championship league um and i completely forgot that it was being played as a as a ranking event a couple of years back um i lost ten thousand pounds from that event knocked me out to 17 and then um, after the the reseeding of of this week, I'm back in the 16. So I was out for probably a couple of days, and it's it's cost me the trip to Shanghai. But um, yeah, we move on. Um, there's plenty of tournaments to be targeting coming coming months. So uh, yeah, just more of the same. Yeah, definitely. Um, is it a target to potentially retain that British Open title? Yeah, obviously it's it's difficult, but um, I'm never really had a, a good crack at defending um, a, a title that I've won in the past and won a great deal of tournaments. But, um, yeah, certainly I want to be going to Cheltenham. Um, we've played a couple of tournaments there uh, in the Grand Prix, I think, last season. I think it was Grand Prix there a few years before that. And um, I really like the venue. It's not far from home. And, uh, yeah, it's definitely going there with, with the ambition of trying to put up as good a fight as I can. Well, Ryan, it's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, best of luck for the season. I'm sure we'll see you more and more round tour. That's great. Thank you.